What's going on guys? It's Paul from All Played Fishing. Uh, I'm stuck in isolation at the moment, so I, um, I've been out of action for a while in terms of my fishing. Uh, I've got some fishing trips um, recorded though already and um, ready to go, so this is one of them. Now, I went with Elijah a couple of weeks ago now and we, um, we found some new ground. Um, we went on Google Earth and um, yeah, we found a spot we've never really heard or tried before and we thought we'd give it a go and um, yeah, it turned out to be not too bad. Like We ended up, I think, with a total of like 21 fish. Um, you know, which is down on our usual sort of um, big big day stretches, but um, now we had a pretty good day. They were very aggressive bass, so um, we pretty much got them all on our top. Now, in this video, the cicadas are going off their head, so I do apologize for that. They are literally screaming. Uh, I'll try to edit it a little bit to, um, you know, block out that um, noise, but still quite, you can hear them quite heavily, so yeah, I do apologize about that, but um, yep. Yeah, Sometimes you do want to hear that noise, cicadas, you know, going off their heads. So, so I changed to a Tienko soft shell cicada and um, yeah, it did the damage. They were literally eating it um, pretty much straight away off the top, so which was really cool to see. But um, yeah, before the video kicks off, I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial uh, on how I locate new bass areas with Google Earth. Now, Google Earth was would be hands down my favorite app to use for this type of, um, you know, this, this sort of fishing tool, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, if you're ever looking for you know new bass spots to find and new locations, and, um, yeah, jump on Google Earth. It's definitely your best tool if you want to look at um, some of your local systems. They, if they've got bass in them, you know they do. Then it's going to hold fish. So yeah, I'm going to jump on my phone right now, and I'm going to um, yeah show you show you what I do. So let's get to it. Okay, guys. So the first thing I do if I'm looking for uh, new ground fish for bass uh, is to jump on my favourite app, which is uh, Google Earth. So you can download that for free in the App Store or Google Play. Now what I'll do um, to begin with, I will look for a system, so a river for example, that definitely holds bass. And I'm going to go as far away as any town, city or a lot of houses as possible. Now this usually will, um, this is when you'll usually find like more bass, um, they're more aggressive, they're in bigger numbers, the, the size can be bigger as well. So, so yeah, once you've found, you know, a stretch that's, um, you know, looks deep enough, wide enough to hold bass, um, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to find an exit point, so a bridge or a crossing, and you've all got, you're also going to go find a entry point, so a bridge or a crossing. Now, this only really works for me, I've found uh, a lot easier if you've got uh, two people with you and you've got two cars. So you're going to park one car at the exit point uh, and then you're going to jump in your mate's car and you're going to head up to the entry point. So when you get back from that long stretch, you're just going to jump back into the car you dropped off at the exit point and head all the way back to where you started. That way you're not going back up the river um, where you've already been, you know, you're not going to really fish as much because you want to just get back. Um, you've already fished that area, which they call dirty water, essentially. So, so yeah, once you've found your crossing or your bridge, um, you want to measure it out. So I find a kilometre per hour is usually what I've found to be a good gauge for myself if I'm kayaking or walking. There's a lot of variables, though, depending if you're catching fish and so on. So uh, I'm just going to tap this... Um, measuring um, icon at the top right hand corner here now this will bring up the distance measurer now you want to drag it across the screen where you're going to start so we're going to go add point at this bridge here so now you're going to drag it up across the screen into the river and every time you want to turn a bend you're just going to go add point and that includes any little sharp bend too so we're just going to add point add point, add point. Now this is gonna measure out the distance between each of those points and then gonna add it on to the next one for you. So you've got a total distance in the bottom left-hand corner there. So I'm just gonna whiz through this guys um, really quickly. I'm not gonna to be too accurate though. So bear with me. Okay, so we've got back to our um, exit point. So we're gonna, so we've got a total distance of 2.78 kilometers. So it's not a big stretch. Just wanted to give you that for an example. So that should only take us, you know, maybe three hours roughly. 
um, which could be, you know, if you wanted to do an afternoon session or a morning session, could be a good stretch for you. But um, yeah, it's just an example I wanted to um, show you with that. And I hope that helps you guys, um, you know, if you wanted to get into more sort of serious bass fishing and uh, you wanted some tips, I've found, um, yeah, Google Earth def definitely your best helper. Uh, I get a lot of people ask me, you know, where's this, where's that, where's this, um, you know, I've put in a lot of effort to find those spots, so, yeah, I find um, it's, you know, you, you feel more rewarded uh, when you catch a lot of fish and you've found that spot yourself, it, it's a, one of the best feelings, trust me, so, so yeah, that's um, that's all I really do, um, just make sure the entry point and the exit point is, um, you know, public, uh, accessible, so you don't want to cross any fences or go on a private property because um yeah it's not the right thing to do and um but yeah the river beds in New South Wales of course are illegal um to be in so as long as you don't go out of the riverbed um which which is fine um yeah you shouldn't have any problems so yeah hopefully that helps that little tutorial guys and um yeah I'm going to play a video now where Elijah and I actually used um Google Earth to find our new spot and um, yeah, which caught us plenty of plenty of bass. So yeah, I'll um, I'll play it now for you and uh, let me know what you think. With your with your TM code too, see if you can get more of a sharp little twitch. Not like side like, or up and down. Like oh, even on your side, like in the one spot. So instead of winding, yeah. sit it in the one spot and like twitch it like really really sharp like that. Yeah, my line's just try not to be so aggressive when you twitch it. Oh, there's a bass right there. Oh my god. Ready? Oh my god. Are you recording? Yes. Yeah. Did it again! He just did the exact same thing again. Literally see him chilling there. What is happening? That was so aggressive, hey. My rod. Really? Oh, got it? Yep. Oh! That was a massive fish. Oh my god. It just busted you off. I couldn't do anything. Look how tight my drag is. That's a, that was a monster, man. Just half of it stuck out of the water. Like, like, like hunting it down. Hunting it down, yeah. Oh, oh, look. Oh. Yep. <laughs> How sick was that? On top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only a little one. I think that's number seven, I think. Yeah, number seven. Yep. Oh, Thanks, mate. Oh, oh, it's over the tree. Oh, oh, it's over the tree. It's over the tree. It's huge, I think. It's a good fish. Oh. It's like 37. Oh, it over the I tree. To do. You want to just like lift him in the yak? Is he alright? <laughs> oh, crap. I might be able to just lift my line over, maybe. Oh. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good fish. Holy crap, he's solid, man. He is a solid fish. Oh, he's a nice one. Yeah, he's a... I literally cast over that hay. <laughs> and then he just tips it on the, like, tea bag. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was instant, wasn't it? Yeah. That was instant. Do you want to find out that one? Yeah, there'll be one there. Sure. Go. 
So. Sorry, sweet guy. Get straight back to his snag. What? Is it actually the problem here? Oh! See what I mean? Look, look what it's doing. It's doing exactly like that. I want, I want to catch that and put it on the jig edge. Do it if you want. He's, you're, so, you're so close to him. Your hand is so close. Keep your arm, keep your arm. You nearly got him. Yep. <laughs> the thing is, though, do you have a like a um, weedless... Oh, actually, I might. You might. You want to use it? I want to use it. It might work. <laughs> All right. Oh, do I have it? I mean, I've got a single lure hook. That might work. Oh. Yeah, how identical do they look to a Tienko, hey? Like that <laughs> pattern on yeah. the Yeah. That's why Bass loves Tienko. It just works. <laughs> he is gonna get flogged. <laughs> I reckon he's gonna get... I reckon he'll be right casting there. Oh, he just took the cicada. He would have rushed after that. He, he you went, oh my oh, god. That's insane, man. That's crazy. He didn't hook up. That's, oh. oh, straight away. Oh my god. I hit the water and I he nailed it. See what I mean, man? Yeah. You don't need, you don't just need um an actual cicada. <laughs> And he's decent too. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, he's a very oh he's not big, but he's quality. Like he's just a quality fish. Yeah. That was just instant again. <laughs> there, oh, yeah, he's quite, I thought you meant like yeah. quality. Yeah. Like he's just yeah, quality. There he is. Thirty seven I'm gonna call him. Yeah. Yeah. He's literally yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's like Oh, oh my god, was that a car? That was a massive car. Right in front of me, hey. Right in front of me. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Quiet. Oh, there's a carp right here. Yeah. Oi, there's a carp. Oh. Yep, two carp. Ready? Eat it. Eat it. Come on, eat it. Eat it. He was literally, his mouth was like, like open like that. Oh, he's spooked now, I think. Oh, mate. Oh, he's a good fish, I think. Oh, oh how sick was that? Oh, he nailed that. He <laughs> came for that twice. He's pretty good fish. Yeah, I think he's all right, eh? Well, he wanted that so bad, then. He looks like 30. Oh, yeah, he's probably a little bit bigger. You reckon? I can't really tell. I can't tell yet, either. Oh, he's solid fish, though. Like, yeah. he's fat. <laughs> oh, he's not too bad. He's fat. He might be 40, actually. Can't beat these Tiencos, especially when the cicadas are singing. Yeah, he's just really, he's just a solid fish. He's got a few stalls on him, but yeah. he's solid. I'd say 37 on corner. 37? Yeah, not yeah. quite photo worthy. Look at that. Just cruises off. Oh. I'll give him one more go. Right. But I can't cast. Oh my god! He's not keen anymore. What is going on? <gasps> that was sick. <laughs> that looks like the same. same nah, it's a bit smaller. Small? Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely yeah. smaller. <laughs> yeah. 
What's that? Is that 11 or 10? 11, yeah. It's 11. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh wow. yeah. That was him. He's got oh. it, he's got it, he's got it. No, he doesn't. No. Oh, he went it and turned. I thought he had it. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. He's right under it, he's right under it. Oh, he turned on it. Oh, man. There we go. Uh, there's a rabbit. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's buffing at nothing. He like turned around and buffed at nothing then. I think he thought that he was... Oh, yep. I'm going straight at you. How good is it? Oh. Surely there's not another one. Now. Oh, I don't know, man. Give it a go if you want. But I've, I've said that every time. But now, how many have we caught out of this? Three. So this is my 12th fish now. <laughs> He's fat. The They're all fat. They're all very, very healthy, though. I reckon there's not another one, surely. Oh, yep, there yes, is. there is. There is. Yep. <laughs> Ready? Oh! oh. Come on, you've got this one. You've got him. He's a good fish, man. No, he's not. No? He looks all right. No, he's a good fish. He's all right. <laughs> no, he's, he's good. He's... he's actually really good. He's a really good fish. <laughs> Your first fish is what? Close to 40, you reckon? Give us a look. Well, he's solid. Do you want a quick measure? Yeah, we have a quick measure. He's been out of the water for a while now, so I'm not sure. 37. 37, yeah. Okay. Good fish, though. I'm going to release him on this spot and see yeah. where he goes. Bloody hell, he's keen. Look at his eyes. Look at him. Where is he? He's <laughs> under my kayak. He's under there. No, he just went, he just went off. See? Yeah, there he is. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Wait. Oh. Are you sure? Where? I think it was you. What? But there was two boys. No, there's a fish. There's oh. a fish. Hundred percent of fish. Oh, swimming at me. No, no, no! I'm gonna lose tension. He's swimming like directly. Look at that! He's a good fish. Give it on there. Wait, it's a carp. Oh, it's a carp. You've caught a carp. On the surface. On top. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> a carp on a TMK. <laughs> Can't believe that. Hey. I know. But it makes sense though. Yeah, I know. What you mean. Like, you know, if there's a cicada that falls in the water, it's gonna eat it. Yeah. All right, I'm getting in the yak. Oh, straight away. Oh, yep. Good fish. Yep. On the chubby, but he ate it off the top. <laughs> He's not bad. <laughs> oh, he's good, man. Oh, yeah, he's close to 40. Nope, you're wrong. He's 37 and a half. And then he missed it, and then I rolled it back off that log, and he ate it off the top again. It looks like such a promising hole. Oh. That was a buff. Right on the edge there. Yep. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Number 17. Thanks for coming. He had three goes at it. Because what was happening, right? The Tiamgo was caught, like wrapped, yeah. and he was like trying to eat it while it was tangled, and it wasn't, it wasn't hooking him. Yeah, right. he, is that thunder actually? I think it is. I reckon that's thunder. Really? I don't know. I'm gonna have a look at my phone. Thunder. <laughs> do you want to see the rain? <laughs> oh, do I want to see it? Do I? Let's just say we're getting wet. That's all I'm going to say. What colour is all the colour? Um, we're talking green, yellow, and red. Red? Yep. 